Mark Green for go and Jenny Richards leads them away off the line. Evie Richards starting very, very strongly as is Candice Lou. The red and white of Alessandra Keller in the middle of your picture, the overall title leader getting swallowed up slightly. Sevilla Blanc gets her way past her and Ollie, they're all off the line safely. And the one on the comp just getting swallowed up. Front row start for drifting in probably 15, 16 at the moment. Hit this first big climb. It's really important to get a good position up here. There's a smooth line, but if you're on the grass, it just makes life that bit harder. Steger's in third wheel behind her, Richards. Then it's Keller. The comp seems to have stabilised. This berm can be so critical. We saw it in the under-23 races. That inside line so loose and yeah. blowing out. You really want to be on the outside of it to carry the speed again back up the hill and out. And we saw Rebecca Henderson taking big risks, cutting on the inside. You've got those big kind of fist-sized stones, so you wouldn't want to be there. And as we're just dropping off the more technical kind of super cross section, we come into this fast asphalt super speed along here and what we'll find is the riders won't want to be at the front because there's quite a lot of slip streaming so they just back off a little bit and then it's another scrap the real skill in these xcc races is just to float save energy sit there third fourth fifth wheel is probably the best position tv richards world champ hit in the front it's just such a hotly contested yeah. class, isn't it? There is Neff, you can see her. She's in the back of the shop in the white helmet and the dark blue with the red on the sleeves for Trek Factory Racing Pirelli. Pace feels like it's beginning to be turned on a bit by Evie Richards now. Yeah, just on. And we generally see Evie does like to ride from the front of it and she likes a harder race. What she doesn't want to do is leave it too late. She likes to, for somebody or herself, just to increase the pressure a bit early on. And they're all getting stretched out here, you know, Ollie at the minute. Richards. Applying a bit of pressure at the front. You get the feeling this evening is all about that win. There's a win up for grabs here, and it's now Risfids who moves into pole position for it. Yeah, and the pace of Riz Richards, which means a gap just appearing. There's a kind of front group of 15 or so just pulling clear. I mean, a really, really fast short track circuit, but a brutally tough XCO, and as it looks like Henderson now, yeah. moving up into the lead, big effort from her. Yeah, Henderson and Richards just banging elbows, just coming into there, both wanting to move forward to the front. Henderson standing on the pedals now, moving forward. And Candice Lear as well, doing a good short track this evening. The South African high overall, but more of an XCO specialist. She loves the hilly climbing courses and doing a good job this evening. Neff. And the Neff just getting distance now, that pace of Henderson at the moment, just too much. See Keller now just looking like she might be struggling with the pace slightly. Yeah, but Henderson's going really, really putting the pressure on at the moment. You can see now the speed, the gaps are starting to appear. We see Annie last there out the saddle, full power. And I think another rider would prefer to go long as well. We see is Luana Lecomte, she's just moving past the Rizved. She's seen there's gaps appearing and she's going to keep that pressure on, stop these other riders getting back in. Let's go, Henderson, three, last to go, high on it. Three laps to go here in Monsignan. Still the Compton Richards really working at the front. Keller now powering her way past them all. We have seen Alessandra Keller go from very, very long to take wins this season. This season, Nova Mesa Namorave yeah. sticks out in my memory. An amazing short track there, attacked. Big attack, and it was a similar circuit to this one, high speed, but nobody could follow her at all. Just cut across the front of her. Oh! Luana Lecomte coming in hot into there. Interest. She's got a little bit of a gap here. If she notices that that's, that move stuck, she can just attack out of this corner. Richards on that all-black track bike. Fry, who won that Lake Placid short track, just coming towards the front of this one now. May well be a factor in the dying stages. Yeah, Cena Fry just taking that risky inside line. Ooh, dusty. Really blowing out, isn't it? Tell you what, the Richards is looking very strong yeah. here, isn't she? She's just biding her time in that pack. She's chopped a few people off and made sure that she's in exactly where she wants to be. Third wheel at the minute for Evie Richards, the UCI world champion for Trek Factory Race in Pirelli. Lap eight out of nine here. They have rattled off 
Such is the pace, and it's now Keller who's up on the ante at the front on the number one bike. Yeah, so this is the longest climb coming up, and this is where Keller's, this is probably her biggest strength, is she can really apply the power. But Keller, there's that trademark. Horizontal upper body over the front of the bike. Richards just sort of marking her every step of the way. The comp looking really, really yeah. comfortable in the French National Champions jersey alongside her. Sneaker just pulling some faces as well. Just struggling with that pace now and that acceleration from Keller. Keller so fast in the lap arm. And I say if you've got the skills and you can let it loose into that berm, you can carry so much exit speed into the next kick. Keller head right down over the front of the bike. Lecomte and Keller, as you say though, Lecomte looking. Yeah, watch out for Cena Fry as well, winner from last week in Lake Placid. She's been doing a great ride as well, just staying under the radar a little bit, for fifth position. Now, what happens on this next start straight? Is anyone going to launch a long-range attack at the last short trek World Cup of the Year? Sevilla Blanc moving right up now for Decathlon, 4-2 on the outside. I think we're going to see someone go soon. Someone's going Keller. to have to go for that grass hill. Keller stood up there. I wonder... Keller ups the pace at the front then. The rider in red. Two short track wins to her name this season. And you see that smoother groove definitely carry more speed and it's Luana Lecomte that's got the front she's going to kick now Luana Cena Lecomte Fry going with her Cena Fry we saw her expertly piggyback an attack from Jenny Risfins last week in Lake Placid before springboarding herself to the win is that going to be the case this evening Alessandra here in Keller. Alessandra Keller blue you just literally saw a collapse on the handlebars couldn't follow the pace Rebecca Anderson had to go round to the hard way Keller moving backwards now and that leaves Lecomte and Fry at the front but Cena Fry sitting in the perfect position but here comes Evie Richards behind them the UCI world champion carrying so much speed just managing to close back onto the wheel Rebecca Anderson will be kicking herself she was stuck behind Keller when she let the wheel go Richards having to dig deep to stay with the pace of Fry and Lecomte at the front of this one. Luan Lecomte has ridden this race superbly all race long. Can she get the job done? Two straights to go. And Fry just tucks in behind her. Luan Lecomte, she's going to just take it on. She can't look back. Richards just a couple of bike lengths off, but we know that she is absolutely superb. A time and a sprint, and that is what it look like. looks like it's going to come down to. As they head into this final, last little loop. Carrying speed out of this corner, one big kick up before the finish Cena straight. Fry is in the lead, Cena Fry has taken the lead from Luan Lecomte and is it going to be race win number two? There's a big start, finish straight to get to the end of first. Cena Fry launches an attack, Cena Fry wins two on the bounce to finish 2024 behind her. Luan Lecomte and Evie Richards. Rebecca Anderson in fourth, Candice Lil fifth. An absolutely superb execution of a race from Cena Fry. What a short track from Cena, that's how you ride it. Cena Fry, the one Lecomte and Evie Richard, your top three this evening. But there's been no stopping Alessandra Keller. The 2024 UCI Cross Country Short Track World Cup overall title holder. For a second time, it's Alessandra Keller's title.